Forge Cup Ministries is a Bible-based church. Our mission is to bring people to Jesus Christ. God's word is above all things. It's sharper than any double-aged sword, penetrating to your soul and spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit and open your heart as you make God's word the standard for your life. Promise TV, bringing people to Jesus Christ. Say thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? Let me acknowledge the presence of our people, Lusaka people. We thank God for you once again, and those who are following us on YouTube and Facebook. Glory be to God Almighty for your love and your support. We continue praying for you. Thank you. It is my prayer that God will give me the grace to finish what I started, I think, a week or two weeks ago, trials and temptation. But let me focus more on temptation. Temptation, I talked about this temptation the other Sunday and trials. Temptation represent what? Trials represent what? We look at the life of Adam and Eve. We start from there. Because of time, I would love to go back to that scripture, but because of time, let me just start from Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Then we'll go to look for verse 1 as well, James 1, verse 12. We learn through this life. Praise the Lord. Listen to this. Now the serpent was more cleft than any of the wild animals the Lord had made. He said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The stood, the woman said to the serpent, we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden. Three, but, but God did say you must not eat from the tree that is in the middle of the garden. And you must not touch it or you will die. For you will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. Five, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and will be like God, knowing good and evil. Six, when the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eyes and also desirable for gaining wisdom. She took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Praise the Lord. God said you can eat from all the trees within the garden. But for the one in the middle, don't. The day that you are going to eat from that tree, you are going to die. But here is the tempter. We are talking about temptation. Here is the tempter who appeared in form of a snake and engaged a woman 
Satan has said, God told you that you should not eat from any of the trees in the garden. The woman said, no, we can eat, you know, uh, from any of these trees. But the one in the middle, he said, don't. Don't even touch it. Then Satan has said, look, God knows that if you eat from this tree, your eyes will be opened. You'll be like him. You know what is good and what is what? But let me remind you about this. Before Adam and Eve, they were not, you know, I mean, before they committed this sin, they did not know what is good, I mean, what is bad, in short. The only thing they know is that life is good. Everything is what? Is good. That was before. They were not even aware that we are naked. It was after eating from that tree. What God said about that tree came to pass. What Satan has said about that tree, because he said you'll be like him. Can you be equal with your creator? Can you be equal with your father? The one who gives birth to you. That if you wear his trousers, then you'll be like him. No. I'm talking about temptation, people of God. And I'm believing God that God will help me to end this journey today. At first, the woman made a mistake by permitting the tempter to engage her. That was the mistake number one. Because if you allow Satan to talk to you, even five seconds, you are finished. He's a spirit being. You are in the flesh. He knows how to manipulate your thoughts. When Satan is talking to you, he's in the spirit. Even before you open your mouth, he knows all your thinkings. It's like you are communicating to his heart spiritually. So the woman made the mistake by permitting the tempter. Because if you allow the tempter to be very close to you, and you are there, and God is not the one who permitted the tempter to follow you, you are on your own. But if the tempter follow you, and God permitted him to come to where you are, he will provide, you know, enough strength. In fact, it is not you who is going to talk to him or respond. It is God himself through his spirit. Are you there, people of God? If you permit Satan to enter your house for one minute, in fact, one minute is too much. Five seconds, the damage cannot be, you know, I don't know what will happen to your life. This is the mistake this woman made. She allowed the tempter. She invited those problems by starting, you know, answering the evil questions from Satan. The only thing she was supposed to do is to rebuke Satan. But she permitted him. She said, can you eat this one? If you eat, you will see the fruit. It's more like, you know, uh, someone, the office where you are working. I'm talking about temptation. And we need to be real with these things. There are some of you who are sleeping with your bosses. They started from somewhere by engaging you in one way or the other. Every morning, you are chatting with your boss. Oh, you don't know this. Even when you are talking to your fellow believers who are women, there is a way we look, you know, we, you need to look for them. It is only your wife that you can, you know, spark your eyes with her. If you spark your eyes with anyone, something has entered you or entered that person. That is temptation. Or you see, what do you want to see? What do you want to see? 
You have already seen the face. You have already, you know, uh, talked to that person. When that person is about to leave, concentrate to what you are doing. Not you start looking. You know, there are eyes that you can uh, do the job well, well. Uh, such type of, you know, character lead to what? Temptation. And when temptation is fully grown in you, that desire will give birth to what? I think, uh, permit me, I'll be running so that he, we get the point. I'll take you to James, but let me first talk about this one. This is what made some of you, you, can, you know you can be promoted because you have surrendered yourself to your superior. And you are even boasting that <laughs> God is great, have been promoted. Look at you. Look at you. Do you know that the strength of every building starts with the foundation? If that promotion, the foundation is questionable, I don't know how you are going to enjoy the fruit of your labor at the end of your journey in that company. Because already the foundation is contaminated. Let those people hate you because of your stance. Let them promote their evil fellow and remain there. God Almighty is going to elevate you at his own time. Remember I talked about destiny. There is no competition in destiny. What matters in our life is God's time. There is a way you can handle the tempter. When you see that this is temptation, you are a human being, rebuke temptation in the name of Jesus. Remember what I was saying, Holy Ghost, see, fire. You see someone is touching your, uh, your information center, just say, Holy Ghost, fire. Don't say, when I am, this man you got up. When I am, you are a fool. They will bring you down. They will do what? You become what? You become a fool under the trap of the devil. He will capture your mind. Before you know it, you'll be doing things that are not part of your character. God gave this instruction to Adam and Eve. You can eat from any tree. And it was clear. Look at the foundation God made through Adam and Eve. Satan came, you know, to destroy that foundation. By deceiving the human, she allowed the tempter. If you spend five minutes, I mean five seconds with Satan, you are finished. Immediately you see him, rebuke him. Ah, oh, you look like my what? To hell with you, Holy Ghost fire. In Jesus' name. There are so many things that are happening in our families. At our working place. Make no mistake. I don't want to go back to that one. But I want you to know that when you see Satan getting closer to you, oh, I can do this, I can do that for you, whatever you want, or you start eating things from someone you don't know. Even if she's a woman, she can, you know, drag you. No, but our mommy was in Temuas. Wake up here. Papa no one said, Oh, Nachkuretela ma potato. Now we come on a sausage. Where my chair? Will let you have a cool. And you know, you know that what you are hitting, that person is spending what? Money. He always gives me money, so he called me that come in town. You know that this man is a married man. Now, you do, you become now more, I mean, you become the, 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 the real temptation to that person. Like nowadays, some of us, I, I can't go to, I. Sometimes my wife would tell me that, let's go to town. I said, please, let me uh, rest. Because when you go, you know, inside town, what you can, you know, wear when you are taking a shower is what people are wearing in town. You see a girl wearing a, how do you call this one? A boti? 
Hey, hey, say it again. Crocodile top. <laughs> you see someone wearing a church in the Valanda? Eh? And you mutter to the pizza? You are even working like uh, everyone is happy of what they. Look at these people of God. When you go to town, if you are not careful and Jesus is not part of you, you'll be going home as a, a scrap. You'll be a what? A scrap. You look at your wife, you see that, ah, maybe I, I was in a hurry. Mm -hmm. I was what? In a hurry. No, you are not in a hurry. You are entertaining the tempter. The more you are looking at these things, the more Satan is gaining ground. He can arrange everything well, well. This is what you know this woman did. She made a mistake and she engaged the husband. Badia. Don't read the Bible like a newspaper. Read the Bible with meditation. When you read, you pause. You start meditating. God will give you the insight. Before you know it, you understand life beyond the weakness of this flesh. Temptation are representing what? Sin. When you see a tempter, know that sin is here present. And who is present when that thing is happening? Satan. But when you are going through trials, God is there to provide a way out for you. That's the difference. Don't entertain the tempter. He means business. He is a killer. Let me, because of time, you can go and read this one. Let's go to Luke 4. We see how Jesus you know, handled the tempter. Because Satan followed him, and the Bible says that he was filled with what? The Holy Spirit. Look for. Are you there? Yes. Listen to verse 1. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left Jordan, and he was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Take note of this one. He was led by what? What about Bamaiva Iva? Who about Twele? Who about Paramikam Pepina Satana Ninan? Because in the Wamu, each into Chamoneke and Munsoka. Nalesadi Kwebati, if he, Tefio, you start to know chatting, eh, what and what, eh, eh, what and what. Maybe your, your brother in law, eh, your sister is not there. Kasawikale Pamoru, Ulench Tako massage. You will not end with massage. You will not end with what? They will harvest you. You remember the word I used last week? They will harvest you. You start massaging your, uh, your, your, uh, your what? You, you twist this, you do what? Uh, you are chatting what? Please be careful. No one is, you know, is, 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 is powerful when it comes to this. Be careful. Be careful. You know what I'm talking about, you are there. The way you look at people, this is your daughter in the Lord. You are a servant of God. You are a leader. You are an elder. There are people who are taking advantage of the situation that you are going through to start now destroying your life. Sometimes I wonder when you know you, are, you go to church, a place where you're supposed to bury your past, you renew your past. Listen to this. He was led by the Spirit. And the Bible says in verse 2, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days. And at the end of them, he was angry. 40 days, 40 nights, Satan was tempting who? Satan. What made Jesus not to fall under the trap of the devil? Because these are temptations. God was already filled his heart. With the Holy Spirit. So Satan was just you know, scratching outside. The inside was God himself. That is the only way you can defeat the tempter. Listen to what Satan said to, uh, to, to Jesus. The devil said to him, If you are the son of God, tell this stone to become bread. 
You are angry, of course, for 40 days. You know when you fast even a day? Hmm? When you fast just for a day or two days, you become less stressed. I bet I less than fifty feet that will younger that will faster. Listen to what Jesus said. The Spirit of God was the one answering the devil. Jesus answered, "It is written, man shall not live on bread alone." Full stop. He was not blagging. Like about him. no, he did not say hey, we can. You know, we can eat for. Nang femuang me, ngamono le seka seka. Aishwati, one day I'll manage this one. Temptation is not only in a relationship or sex, even corruption. Because in our time, corruption, you know, has become now like the, the quickest way to become what rich. They will tell you to say, if we do this, we'll make this millions of guacha. Are you going to say no? You are lenting. You will not. What you want is money. And if you pay attention to that idea, for one minute, you are finished. You'll be imagining now how you are going to build the house, the type of yoke that you, you buy, looking at the, the amount of money that will reach your hand, all those things, you become blank. Your relationship with Jesus becomes useless. He said, man shall not live by bread alone. There are some of us who are HIV positive because of what? Food. There are some of us who are affected because of what? Employment. There are some of you who are regretting because of the way you started your journey. You did not wait upon the Lord. The tempter came to you to say, you'll be rich if you kill this one. You'll be rich if you go and see a witch doctor. You'll be rich if you use this thing. Today, you are regretting. You are regretting. Satan is a killer. He is Mr. Killer. He enjoys the pain of a human being. Man shall not live by what? And these are the things Satan is using to disconnect you from Jesus because of food. <clears throat> listen, listen again. The devil led him up to high place and showed him in, you know, a distance. All the kingdoms of the world. That is wealth. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and the splendor. It has been given to me and I can give it to anyone I want. If you worship me, it will be yours. Jesus answered Satan, it is written, worship the Lord your God. And save him alone. You want to be rich? And here is an opportunity for corruption? Or a witch doctor that has come? Kaidbala Ipela Machinati International from water. Afumneve kwa kaputa. Ala lemba bachi pepala international. Because you want money. You are paying attention to the, to the tempter. If God is not the one who permitted them to come to you, they will overcome you. But in this case, because Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit, and God Almighty permitted that Satan, you can tempt him. Like what happened to Job. We all know the story. Where he destroyed everything. Please, people of God. Temptation. If you entertain temptation and you say you are strong, rebuke temptation. No one is strong when it comes to this. You are renting a house with your husband. You told your husband to say, No, Lekeni Njem Nalamba Muneva Landro, Di Kaleni. Those are temptations. 
And then you sit back. Go. No. Sit, let me go and see the landlord. Not you. Avoid temptations. Because if you permit your woman to go and see the landlord, it is not every landlord who is a Christian. Some of these people have got, you know, big things. They are not Christians. They are the disciples of, you know, of the devil. They will just, you know, say, okay, madam, how many months now? Three months. Uh, you are finished already. You are saying Munchilanch. Munimukalamba. Let me show you a question. You have a machine. I let my Kalanan for one year. As long as Tulem Fuana and Afibuino, and I'm much cruel for Tambikilam Abar Meben. You see it as a solution. It's not a solution. It is distraction. It is what? Distraction. You permitted your condition to invite the tempter. Let the man be the one to face the man. Hmm? Even if you, sometimes it is a woman who is a landlord. You tell your husband, "Kavie and move money." Now we shall now we call her. Kabiye ni bonse. Mule landi la pamwe fintu. Adam did not learn to see who is talking to my wife. Adi na kuisa. Pakuti satan ha chite ingenji umu kashua kwe for such a long time. Kulondolo la ifi abu fi no kumwa sumi ni shokati bari eche na wobaria. Because first of all Adam was supposed to go to go to say God this is what I found with my wife. You said we should not eat from this tree. But this wife, you know, she has already taken the thing and she has now given this thing. God, you know, is a faithful God. But the man eat. Did what? <clears throat> Aria. Because if you love me, eat. Hmm? If you love me, do what? He swallowed. And then he looked at him and said, Ah, oh, so this is what you That please stop this blame shifting. If you know that this is sin. And then you commit that sin because of your, 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 your friend or your wife. Or, and then you start blaming that person to say, no, it, it was because of my wife. It was because of my husband. It was because of my friend. Stop blame shifting. That blame shifting cannot pay you anything. Remember Adam reported, you know, Eve to, to God. He said, it's because of the woman you gave me. What are you trying to do? You are blaming God. Rebuke temptation. Hmm? Ah, now we are in Jesus' name. Ah, we are going to win Holy Ghost fire. Maybe it's a message. They will send a message. It is in our time where sometimes people can even capture their private part and send it to a, a, a man or a woman. And you are even looking at it. Are you normal? It's not normal, people of God. You start in now entertaining what? Temptation. What is next? What is next? Uh -huh. Jesus answered Satan. He said, it is written, worship the Lord your God and save him alone. Let me die with my poverty. If it is the will of God. Let me die. Let me leave your house. Let me not be promoted through evil. You are receiving those things because you are selling your body to the tempter and he has destroyed your future. Praise the Lord. Let's go to James. James chapter 1, verse 12. We start with this. 
Blessed is the one who persevere under trials because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. That is trials. When you persevere, there is a crown ahead of you, waiting for you. When you overcome, you know, trials, when God, you know, takes you through that process, he is present. Listen to, now, uh, my interest today is temptation. You understand this. Listen to this now. Verse 13. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil. Or does he tempt anyone? He is not a tempter. When you are tempted, you should not say, no, 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 no. He is not a tempter. Listen to what, you know, made you to be a tempted. This is 14. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their one, their own evil desire and enticed, like evil, was drawn away. She wanted to be equal with God by paying attention to the tempter. And the end result was what? Death. Let's start to remember that Mukala for at the beginning. The tempter came and initiated that foundation of death through Adam and Eve. Praise the Lord. Listen to 15. Then after the desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to what? To death. I think let me end there. Temptation comes with what? The desire to commit what? Sin. Mwilari efin tu. If you are Those are temptations. One witch doctor was telling me that, you see, man of God, he killed the family through Juju by permitting the tempter in his life. There were just two, him and the sister. They told him that if you want to be powerful, you can only do this. I said, ah, sure. He said, yes. I didn't know that what the man gave me Mwari Chimba Chamulopa. Then later I realized that I could not sleep the whole night. I'll be singing a song. I'll be singing a song. When I went back to the man, the man said, No, are you a small boy? They are demanding something. The fuel is no longer there. It is dry. You need to fill the tank. He said, What do you mean, sir? He said, Are you a child? Be careful. You want to be powerful? No. Let God Almighty who is powerful be in you. Then you become what? Powerful. If you learn that if you are malaki, no, you are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able In heaven, it is already enshrined that you will be a lawyer. You will be a lawyer. Even if my father, my mother, because heaven knows me as a lawyer, he will raise you to support me until I become what? A lawyer. It is God, not your mom or your dad. It is what? There are people with both parents. Where well to do family? They are not educated. No, therefore, if you have a telephone, my sister, which scripture? You are a tempter. You are what? Mm, which scripture? Hmm? You are a tempter. God has already prepared everything for you, but the tempter will take advantage of you know, your condition, the situation. If you are in a hurry, he will use that. To say, look, look at this one. Look at you. Do this. 
You are not conceiving. He will come. You are not conceiving. What are you doing? You will lose this man. Marriage is not you know children. Marriage is from God. Children is a blessing. The fruit of your marriage. If the base of your marriage is children, then I don't know that one. The one I know which is here. Marriage is not what? Children. Children is a gift. Psalms 127. Verse 3. They are a little blessing from whom? From God Almighty. Never you allow or entertain the tempter to be very close to you. Please, people of God, rebuke the tempter. You are a girl. You want to say a teacher. This man is single. Carry the book. Yes, carry the books. You go to that house. You are sweeping. Those are the signs of what? Temptations. Help your teacher. Help Basa. Help Banan. Basa. No, sir, I can't go there to sweep your house alone. Maybe three of us. Only you. You are even breaking like crankshaft when you are leaving the, the sir. Do you know what that man is thinking about your life? Those are the signs of what? Temptations. No, she knows she can see the photo of Poshanya Muminwe. You know, Paolo Atiri Omtende. Aku pishako na panu. Iye mwanje nsho mubidi. Those are the signs of what? Temptations. Oh, you see a man greeting you. Bakufwe na Muminwe. Wasike. Badimwe. He's saying something through that sign. Only your wife, you can do that. Or your fiancé. Not you want to have a name. Those are signs of what? Temptation. I feel for you. We are in a world where everything has gone down to the hands of Satan. Look at the dress code of our people. Hmm? Our young ones. Na bakala mbafe kumo. Na bakota. Bayabe ya table cut. So sometimes we are relationship. Mane ya kuisaba. Ishita ya kube ya table cut ya di pita. Just wait for your last day. Stop you not tempting people with your table cut. Be original and be closer to God Almighty. Please forgive me. I have to say this. Mm -hmm. Stop this. Those are signs of what? Temptations. God bless you.